Hey everybody, it's GK again. Thanks for stopping by to check us out. We really appreciate you taking some of your time and really sharing it with us. You know, uh, that's really the most valuable resource that any of us have is our time. And we're grateful you decided to stop by and check us out. Today, we're going to do a quick little mail, mail call rip. We got a few more items in the mail and we want to show them off to you guys and then kind of talk to you guys a little about the entire experience of receiving these cards in the mail. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. You know, of course we got the, got our eyeballs and we've got some mail, just a, a few quick items. The first one we got is, I believe this is a, a 2014, yep, 2014 Devonte Adams Prism rookie card. And what's cool about this and why we decided to buy this is we went on sportslots.com and this was actually the number one traded, bought, or sold card at the day we checked. So what the heck, man, we figured we'd go and chase a rookie card of Devontae Adams. The next one is we got a one touch in the mail. I think this came as a PWE. PWE sleeved in cardboard and a one touch, which is nice because we're needing more of these one touches for grading purposes. But we've got a 2019 Optic Marquise Brown, not numbered, it's just regular base card, and a Debo Samuel. And I think these were both, both each of these cards we were able to uh, get for 99 cents. So the, the card themselves wasn't bad. Um, I think we paid $6.90 in shipping, believe it or not. So like a, a $3.45 charge to come PWE and the seller had said, we bought these on eBay and the seller said, hey, uh, uh, the seller sent us an invoice, we paid the invoice. It was, I wanna say that shipping wasn't charged on one of them on the invoice, so we paid the invoice. But looking at the order details to leave feedback and everything, it, like these two cards, believe it or not, man, that was like a total of $9, so 99 cents, 99 cents, and then the rest was in shipping. So like damn near a $7 shipping charge to come uh, PWE in a in a top loader or in a in a card saver. And it, it did have cardboard over the top and then the cardboard was wrapped in rubber bands. So that was pretty crazy. You know, it's a crazy experience anyway. So, and then our last item came in this bubble mailer, you know, uh, six by nine bubble mailer. And it was just flat this way, you know, so it's just sealed here at the top and like this, no extra padding or anything like that. So we opened it up, we reached in and we found a, a team bag full of cards. Now we weren't sure what we had bought at this time. And I know that we didn't buy a seven, uh, 2017 Donruss Jarek McKinnon. I know we didn't do that. So, but I see in a top loader, I'm like, okay, that must be the card. This guy must have sent fillers. So just real quick, <clears throat> we go through the fillers and there's nothing exciting there. They're just filler cards. And basically they're, they're included to help protect the card. I get that. So the, the purchase that we had made was this, uh, 2018 contenders, Trey Flowers, rookie auto. And Trey Flowers was a play, player that we've watched and kind of like how he's playing. It's not numbered, not, not anything really special, just an on-sticker auto. Um, 99 cents once again. But here's the thing. You know, we paid, I think, this seller $4.99 in shipping for a bubble mailer. <laughs> the cards were loose in the team bag. Just the way I pulled them out, that's the way they came for $4.99. So... And I get the purpose of, of fillers, you know, they make sense, I get them, but there was times where we'd send fillers, and what I always thought about these fillers was it was a good chance to share good cards. So like I'd include base rookies or numbered cards or parallel inserts, but to send a bunch of base in in a team bag, there's no, no protection there really, other than the bubble mailer, but loosen a, a bubble mailer for $4.99, you know, I was kind of like, man, this sucks. <laughs> so, um, you know, seven bucks to get this shipped to me, five bucks to get this shipped to me. It's definitely changed our eBay buying habits. You know, now we're kind of really focused on items with free shipping. And really the reason why is I feel like if 
coming from the, the buyer's perspective, I felt like I had been cheated on the shipping charge. I don't mind paying shipping. I, I realize it's a necessary cost to get the product, to get the card from uh, seller to buyer. But as a seller, one of the interesting things about this is the perspective it lends us in our own endeavors. So we've got three different examples of how a seller got product to us. And really we learned a, a lot about what not to do because like I said, I opened this one, this, it was, that was cool. This is a PWE, it came cardboard uh, wrapped in paper, taped to the paper, good to go. No, no issues there, free shipping. We paid $3.45 a piece for combined shipping. The charge wasn't, wasn't removed. And then we paid $5 for a 99 cent card and a bunch of base cards in a bubble mailer. At the end of the day, man, I feel like we were overcharged for the shipping. And really what I wanted to do was just kind of ask you guys, what are you guys' thoughts on that? You know, is it a big deal? Is it not a big deal? Um, fair shipping charges. One of the things that, that we're able to take from this, like, hey, I wouldn't do a customer like this, nor would I do a customer like this. We're learning what not to do. Ideally, we want to have an experience like this where we paid 99 cents for a card. We got the card for a reasonable cost to get it here. And we felt good about the product after we got it. I would buy again from this guy. I can't say the same thing for, for this seller and this seller. So that's kind of where we're at. You know, what are your thoughts? What do you guys think? We'd appreciate to, your, your, your feedback. Thanks for stopping by once again. We'll see you again next time.